All right, we are back here with the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode at NCAA 14. And if you saw the end of last video, we beat Alabama, but we didn't go anywhere in the rankings. I mean, you look at the rankings, it's North Carolina, then Oklahoma, Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, Clemson. There's Bama at seven, even though we just beat them. NC State, Florida, then Georgia, then you got AM, Louisiana sitting there at 12 above Louisiana State, then USC, Iowa State, Miami, then the Auburn Tigers, then 18, the Texas Longhorns, Oklahoma State at 19, Oregon at 20, 21, there's Washington. We are there at 22, at 23, Oregon State, Arkansas State at 24, and now entering the rankings at 25 will be Arizona State. Other receiving votes, you got Cincinnati, UCLA, Missouri, who are playing today, Wisconsin, UAB, and Northwestern. So a real opportunity for us to pick up a good win over a solid team, a Missouri team who just two weeks ago went to Florida and won in overtime. So it's not a bad Missouri team at all. And we can pick up a very good victory to improve our record to seven and two at the victory. Oh my goodness. Stay after the video, after the gameplay for the scouting for this week. We'll see if we can inch closer to getting Arch Manning. But yeah, Tennessee's the number 22 team in the nation looking to beat Missouri here tonight on the road. Primetime football. Let's see if Tennessee again can get their seventh win of the season. They are already bowl eligible, which is crazy to me. I thought we were going to have some struggles getting to that point, but we are here. We are in the rankings, and tonight we're going to have to go stop the star running back for the Missouri Tigers. He goes by the name of Tyler Beatty. Beatty is one of the best running backs in this upcoming draft class. That man is a monster, and if Tennessee is going to win this game, they're going to have to contain Beatty here on the road. And also, if you want more Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty mode here on the channel, last video I asked for 60 likes on this one. I'm going to ask for 65 we got 73 as of recording right now on the Alabama video. If you want next week, Tennessee goes on the road to Auburn. 65 likes in this video, and we will get that Auburn video up by this weekend. So make sure to hit that like button down below, and also make sure that subscribe button down below for more here on the channel. You might have noticed it. I know I've been dealing with the echo here in a new setup. So if you haven't watched the Giants franchise, well, hey, go check that one out as well. But I did mention the audio issues in that franchise mode. Trying to get it fixed currently, trying a bunch of different things. We will see. Hopefully it will be fixed in the very near future. But for now, we have Tennessee on the road here against the Missouri Tigers. As for the starting quarterback of the Missouri Tigers, it will be Connor Bazelak. He's a redshirt sophomore. I believe he won a freshman of the year last year for the SEC in real life. The man's a stud, really good quarterback. And here we go, Missouri gets it from their own 25 yard line. They go jet sweep on the first play. They're going to Dove. And it'll be a gain of 11 right there for Missouri. Here comes a first and 10. Bazelak out the gun, gonna go play action fake. Look to throw, he's gonna scramble to his right, trying to get around the Tennessee front line. He will, and Bazelak, oh my goodness, look at the truck. Give him a gain of 12 right there for the Missouri quarterback. It's now a second and two for the Tigers. Bazelak going to pump to his left and now fire it downfield. What a ball to Mookie Cooper. It's a gain of 20 right there for Missouri. As now they've got a second and four. Bazelak going to keep on the read option. Tennessee is going to bite on the Tyler Beatty dive. And instead, Connor Bazelak is going to get into the end zone. What an opening drive for Missouri. It took like 90 seconds. We're gonna check on some scores real quick before we get into this first Tennessee drive. You look at a score here from Florida and Georgia. The Gators come out on top, 34 to 31, handing Georgia their third loss in the year. And Florida's now seven and one. Big win right there for Emory Jones and Florida. And also North Carolina beats NC State. Michigan State is gonna beat Michigan and also Auburn will beat Arkansas. So there are your scores. Only score updates we're gonna get in this game. And now here comes the Tennessee offense from their own 25 yard line. Hendon Hooker on a first and 10 is gonna fire to his left. He's got Cedric Tillman. Tillman with a pickup of 20 to start this one off for the Volunteers. First and 10 for Hooker. Dropping back now, scrambling to his right. No, he's gonna look to his left. It is Valus Jones. Jones off a tackler. He stays on his feet. Look at Valus Jones. Oh my goodness, he'll be dead. At about the 25 yard line, but it's a gain of 31 for Bayless Jones. First and 10 for the Volunteers. Hooker now in the Texas route has got Tyon Evans. Evans for a pickup of 15 to the 10 yard line. Now a first and 10 for Tennessee. It will be a triple option. Hooker gonna pitch it to his right. It is Tyon Evans. Evans is gonna be down like the half inch. Second and inches for Tennessee. They'll go jet sweep of their own. Bayless Jones will get in. Phyllis Jones on, I guess, a zero-yard run is going to get into the end zone. It will tie this game up for the number 22 team in the nation. You see Smokey's happy as well. This one's 7-7 with Missouri getting the football back from their own 25. It'll be a handoff. There is Beatty for the first time in this game. Beatty to the outside, staying on his feet. Look at Tyler Beatty. Oh, he's going to be down all the way over midfield. And Missouri is now down at about the 40-yard line. Bazelak now going to hand it off to Beatty again. And Tyler Beatty works it for a gain of 11. 
You saw the passing game in the first drive from Missouri. Now they're going to the run, but now they're going to let Basilac throw the football. But that pass right there is going to result in a loss of four. And after another loss of four, it's now third and 18 for Missouri. They go to a screen to Tyler Beatty. Can Tennessee wrap him up? They will after Beatty picks up seven yards. It's now a fourth and 11. And of course, they're going to kick the field goal. Can they hit it, though, is the question. It is up and it is good. So Missouri takes a 10 to 7 lead with Tennessee getting the football back. It'll be a third inches for Hendon Hooker in the offense. They'll go read option, and Missouri's got it all covered. They were going to have Evans on the dive, and they had Hendon Hooker on the keeper. Three and out for Tennessee. Missouri gets the football back from the 35. Bazelak looking to throw on the post route. He has got his receiver for a big pickup of 20. It is Daniel Parker Jr. And Parker has got his first catch, and it's a huge one because now it's a third and five for Missouri. Somewhat back in the field goal range. Beatty's going to catch that one. He'll stay on his feet, but Tyler Beatty's going to be short of the first down marker. It's now a fourth and one, and Missouri brings out the kick team again for about a 52 yarder. Another one, though. Oh, my. I mean, the Missouri kick team has been good through two kicks so far. Missouri takes a six point lead. It's 13 7 going into the second quarter. Second and two for Tennessee from their own 40-yard line. It'll be a triple option. Hooker going to pitch it to his right. He gives it to Tyon Evans, and Evans has got all this room to work. Tyon Evans going to take him down for a pickup of 25 yards. Now he's got 47 on the day. Now first and 10 from the 35. Hooker on a play-action fake, looking to throw. Scrambling to his right. Hedden Hooker's going to take off. He'll use his legs. Hedden Hooker to the outside. Going to pick up about nine and a half, setting up for a second and one for the Tennessee offense. Hooker going to keep now on a read option. He'll have the first down pretty easily. He'll slide down after a good pickup right there. And now Tennessee back in business here, back in the red zone for a third and 10. Hooker dropping back, looking to his right. What a ball and what a grab. Bayless Jones for an 18-yard touchdown. Hooker starts 7-for-7 seven seven with 102 yards. Bayless Jones in the end zone. And Tennessee goes up 14-13 with Missouri getting the football back. Bazelak now on a first and 10. Going to run straight into a sack. Bazelak's going to lose 7 yards right there. Huge play by Blakely. And now it's a 3rd and 17 for the Missouri offense. Bazelak going to shoot one over the top. Oh my, what a dime. He gets it to Mookie Cooper for a gain of 38. That's one of the best balls you're going to see. Bazelak now on a first and 10, trying for more, but he's going to be sacked again. For the second time in this game, Bazelak has dropped. This time it's Tyler Barron with the sack, and now it's a third and 18. Bazelak going to shoot it to his left. He's got Mookie Cooper again. Cooper's going to pick up 11 yards, but it's not enough for the first. A fourth and seven will result in a punt for the Tigers. Hooker gets it back on a third and four from his own end zone, basically, and he'll get it off to his backup running back in Jabari Small. Jabari Small going to pick up 12 yards right there through the air. Move the chains, but now they got a third and nine. Hooker looking to throw once more to his right. He's got a man open. He fires it into Javante Payton. It's Payton's first grab of the day, and it's a 17-yard gain. It's the fourth third down conversion for Tennessee. Now in a second and seven, there it goes. Oh, my goodness, Hooker going to Jacob Warren. Warren going to truck over a defender in the process. Two minutes to go here in the quarter for Hooker on a first and 10 on a play action fake. Over the top, Ramel Keaton. Keaton for a big pickup. They get Tennessee down to about the 25 for a second and nine. Hooker looking to throw. Hooker still looking. He'll fire it to Bayless Jones and Jones will get 22 yards down to about the three yard line. Second and goal with 30 seconds to go. Hooker looking to his right and this time he's sacked. Hendon Hooker is going to lose six yards. It's now a third and goal for the Tennessee offense. And oh yeah, Joe Milton's in the game. I mean, okay, Joe Milton to Javante Payton. It's his first completion of the game for Milton. Hooker got injured on the sack. I mean, what you know, another injury, unfortunately, for Hendon Hooker. But for that one play, Joe Milton comes in, throws a touchdown. However, though, Hooker will be back now for the third quarter. Tennessee up, though, by eight. All right, let's get this third quarter started. So Hendon Hooker here on a third and 11, looking to throw from his gut. He'll get it out to Ramel Keaton. It's only going to be a gain of 10, though, and Tennessee's going to be short of the first down. We're going to punt it back over to Missouri. Trusting in the defense here on a third and six. Bazelak going to look to his right. He will find Dove for the 20-yard game. Might be butchering the name. I'm not sure. But first and 10 here for Bazelak. They're going back to him here on the jet sweep. There's the first down again for Missouri. He's still on his feet. Oh, my goodness. 17-yard run right there for Missouri. It's still one possession game so a touchdown here and a two-point conversion could definitely tie this one Bazelak over the top well there you go there's the first half of it on the touchdown right there it will be Kike Chisholm it's a big touchdown pass from Missouri the two-point conversion here pending here's Bazelak from under center he'll drop back looking to throw it's picked off Taylor's gonna pick it off in the end zone he could return it but 
he'll be stopped by Missouri, but still, it's still a two-point game. A lot of stills in that sentence. It's 21-19, Alante Taylor with the interception on the two-point conversion. Tennessee's got it back on a first and 10. Tyon Evans right now on a little pass to the left. He's going to go out of bounds, but it's still a pickup of 19 yards right there. Evans on the reception from Hooker. Now first and 10 for Hendon Hooker, scrambling to his right. Hendon Hooker, he will find Ramel Key, and they leave him open. Oh, Ramel Keaton trying to jump over a Missouri defender. He'll be brought down after a gain of nine. It's now a second and one. Hooker going to hand it off to Tyon Evans. Evans to the outside. He's got the first down and more. Give him a gain of nine. Move the six again for the Tennessee offense. Second and two for Hooker on a read option. He'll keep the football. And Hendon Hooker, look at him shake. Oh my goodness, Hendon Hooker stay on his feet. Oh, he'll get down to the one yard line. Hendon Hooker makes it a first and goal. We now go on a little bubble route to the left. And that's a touchdown. Walker Merrill gets in the end zone his first touchdown of the year. And Tennessee goes up by eight, and the extra point will put us up by nine. So it's now a two possession game. And Basilak can't complete that one on third and nine. So Tennessee forces another stop. They get the football back on a second and 10. Hooker looking on a slant route. He's got Jacob Warren. Warren's still on his feet. No one from Missouri can bring him to the ground. Jacob Warren trying to score a touchdown here with a stiff arm. They can't bring him down. Jacob Warren goes 58 yards to the house. 302 passing yards now for Hendon Hooker. Tennessee's up 34 to 19. They'll go for two to try and make it a 17 point game. Hooker over the middle, Ramel Keaton's got it. And that's gonna put Tennessee up by 17 points. And with the stop here, that could do it on the game. Tyler Beatty is gonna complete that one. Get it, get a reception right there. It's only a gain of one though. It's a fourth and four and they're not gonna go for it. So Missouri gives the football back to Tennessee. Hendon Hooker on a first and 10 going to his right. They leave Ramel Keaton open again. And Ramel Keaton will step out of bounds after a pickup of 16 yards. It's now a second and two at the 40. Hooker keeps on a read option to his left. Hendon Hooker slides down, but he's got the first down as we now got Got one last play here of the third quarter. Third and 10 for Hooker. We're at the empty gun. Hendon Hooker's still throwing the football. Instead, he's going to take off. He will scramble and he will run past the first down marker. Give him a gain of 13 yards as we head now into the fourth quarter. It has been all Tennessee so far. They are up by 17 points. It's looking good for the 22nd ranked Volunteers. So Tennessee just trying to close this one out. It's a second and five for Hendon Hooker. Throwing to his right. He's got Princeton Fant. Fant is going to try to get his way in the end zone. He will. Oh, my. Princeton Fant will get into the end zone. So both tight ends score in this game. And Warren and Fant. Fant's in for Hooker's fourth touchdown of the game. It's 43-19 to for the Volunteers. Missouri's got it back here on a fourth and four. Basilak looking to throw. He's going to scramble to his right. And Flowers is all over it. It's a sack. Basilak loses two. And Tennessee gets the football back. And you know what? We're going to keep throwing the football. We don't get these opportunities often. We're going to try to rub the score here against our SEC rivals, maybe. I mean, no real rivalry between Tennessee and Missouri. But Jalen Hyatt's going to pick up 19 yards. It's now a third and 18 for Hooker. Looking over the middle. He fires it to Merrill. Oh, my goodness. What a ball and a gain of 17 for Walker Merrill. He's hyped up here in Missouri. Now a first and goal. Hooker from out the empty gun over the middle. Oh, my. Get it to Merrill again. Two tutties for Walker Merrill. Hendon Hooker's got five on the day, and that should do it here from Missouri. Tennessee's going to drop 50 on the heads of the Missouri Tigers. They'll win this one by a score of 50-19. to 19. What an impressive performance for the Volunteers. And they now get their seventh win here on the season. Joe Milton came in at the end of the game, threw the football around, got 75 yards on four completions, and a touchdown with that one pass before the end of the second quarter. But again, it was all Tennessee here tonight. They win this one by 31 points. They absolutely destroyed the Missouri Tigers. And it was the game Tennessee needs before going on the road next week against a very good team, a ranked team in the Auburn Tigers. Let's take a look here at our recruiting. So Arch Manning, we're still ahead of Mississippi State. It's looking good. I think we're really going to land Arch Manning here down the stretch. We got to keep our scouting up or recruiting up, excuse me, but I think we can really land Arch Manning. Allen Jefferson and Nicholas Mays, do we need those two? Not really, but they are the backup plans just in case. And even if we get Arch Manning, it will be a conversation. Do we start Joe Milton next year or do we start Manning instead? I don't know. Again, we got to get Arch Manning first, but with Hooker being a senior, he's going to leave obviously 
obviously for the draft. Hopefully he gets drafted. I don't know. But um, yeah, it'll either be Milton or Manning next year if we do get Arch Manning on the team. Um, we're still trying to get Ron Jackson here. I believe he's a five star. Is he a five? He might be a four. Um, a Central Michigan making a real push to try to get him right now. We're going to schedule that visit in just a second. Uh, Marcus Goddard looking pretty good on that one. Ronald Sullivan, we're losing points on West Virginia. So hopefully we can overtake the Mountaineers right there. We're probably going to get Moses. We're going to get Pace right there as well. Sullivan will probably land, I think, at tight end. Um, yeah, we're really beating out Arkansas for him right now. Nate Wesley might not be good because LSU is making a huge push to try to go get him. They're getting 490 points each week on us. Um, Lonnie Cobb, we're gaining on the Wisconsin Badgers. Might not get him though. And Taylor Novak, we have been locked out in favor of Southern Miss and Auburn. I mean, we could jump back into that one, but I don't think we're gonna be able to land Novak on the team anyways. Uh, Dennis Macklin, we're gonna land. Um, DNs, Justin Poole, we're still Doing well, but Nebraska's gaining on us. Alan Moss, we're fighting with Auburn for him. We'll see. Kyler Rogers looking pretty good. Or Kyler Rogers um, against Texas Christian looking pretty good. Booker, we're not going to get. Sam Burley, we've already been locked down in favor of Arkansas. Anthony Gray and Fuller are probably going to get. They're not the best two corners in the world, but still, they'll be added to the team. John Carey's going to be really good. That strong safety. And also, um, that kicker, Norton, James Norton. I didn't show it on the video, but hey, yeah, James Norton has officially committed to Tennessee. So we have our first commit, and it's a kicker. So welcome, James Norton, to the team. And folks, thank you all for watching episode number nine of the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode here in NCAA 14. If you want to see episode number 10, again, 65 likes is the goal for this weekend. It will be Tennessee versus Auburn. So again, smash that like button down below. Also, make sure to leave a like. Again, if you want to see more Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode, and also make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more. You guys, thank you for watching. And Mamba forever.